Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. We're here. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, this is my first shiny. Um, hello? Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I got a golden raspberry. We're throwing the golden raspberry. Oh shoot, he sees me. How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here, back again with another awesome Pokemon Legends Arceus tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing you the absolute best and easiest way to get shiny Pokemon within the game. And luckily, Legends Arceus does not fail to deliver on this one. Anyway, you guys are awesome, thanks so much for watching, and of course, thanks for picking up the Legend T and supporting the merch. Check it out at AbdallahSmash.com. All right, let's get the show on the road. As you can see, all of my shiny Pokemon are out right now. I've got even more inside my pastures. So let's teach you guys everything you need to know about this, starting with detailing the two methods that you're going to use in order to catch shiny Pokemon. The first method is going to be full odds shinies, and the second one is going to be using mass outbreaks. Full odds shinies are exactly what they sound like. They are, as you're going around the entire overworld, you can randomly come across a shiny Pokemon. Pokemon shiny hunters have always experienced this in the past, so there's nothing really new about it. Other than that, we do have mass outbreaks, which is kind of like swarming in previous other Pokemon generation games. But before we actually get into the nitty gritty details on those, you're going to need a little bit of preparation beforehand. So anyway, uh, head on over to Jubilife City. You're going to need to head on over to the Craftworks area. This is going to be your best area to get the items that you're going to need on hand for any of these different shiny hunting methods. Right over here is where you're going to want to go. Uh, talk to Anvin in case you need to get any more crafting materials. But ultimately, when you use the crafting bench over here, there's going to be three items that you're going to need. Your best Pokeballs, I would highly suggest the Feather Balls or any of their variety, simply because they fly a lot farther and a lot faster. Uh, and of course, if you're leveled up within the Pokedex and you have a lot more stars on your entire decks, you're going to have access to the best versions of them, i.e. the Jet Ball right over here, the best capture rate and it flies the fastest. Likewise, if you want to initiate in battles, then I would definitely recommend stocking up on Ultra Balls. Again, unlocked a little bit later on in the story when you complete even more stars on your Pokedex. Likewise, your next item that you're going to definitely need is something I like to call Stealth Spray, right over here. You can easily craft Stealth Spray with some Hopo Berries and some Bug Warts. The reason why you want Stealth Spray is because once you spray that on, it, it's kind of like a repel, but Pokemon won't be able to hear your footsteps as easily. So if there's a Pokemon that you're going to be very, very scared of, i.e. this capture right over here, if you take a look right on screen, there is a shiny Abra here. Here. Now, Shiny Abra is the hardest shiny Pokemon to catch within the game, bar none, simply because if you approach too quickly and he sees you, he's going to teleport and he is out of there. So using an item like Stealth Spray will help you out with that tremendously. And then last but not least, the other item that I would highly recommend, and you can farm these in the overworld, is going to be Raspberries. Now, Raspberries are super great at capture rate, simply because all you have to do is throw a raspberry raspberry at a Pokemon, and once they start eating, you can kind of walk around behind them and then throw the Pokeball accordingly. And any Pokemon that eats a golden raspberry is going to have a better odds of you capturing it. So those are the three items that you're going to need in this expedition. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a couple tips that you're going to use before you go out shiny hunting. And this applies anytime. It can be post game or the moment that you turn on Pokemon Legends Arceus. So head on over to your menu, click on ZR right over here, click on settings, then go all the way over to sound effects. Now you want to make sound effects a 10. And if you have a pair of headphones, I would highly suggest playing Pokemon Legends Arceus with headphones so that you can listen to all the audible clues. Yeah, audible clues in the game, absolutely. So let's rewind and take a look at exactly what happened in the cold opener where I had a shiny Buizel. So outside of the initial knee-jerk reaction that there's a shiny, you're going to notice that when you're in the vicinity of a shiny Pokemon, you're going to hear an audible cue. And I'm going to repeat it a couple times for you really loud so you can ingrain it into your memory when it shows up in the game.
So once you hear that sound, the very first thing that I recommend doing is saving your game. The great thing about Pokemon Legends Arceus is that it saves the data of if there's a shiny going to spawn. So if you mess up or fail the shiny catch, by all means, you can honestly save beforehand reload your save file and that shiny is going to be there waiting for you so no more shiny fails in this generation i am so so excited for it so another tip that i'll give you guys is having the right pokemon in your party in order to get these shinies now of course all of the footage that I've shown you right over here is a little bit more based on stealth catches, sneaking up from behind, throwing a Pokeball. But some of you guys really aren't that great at that or you don't have enough practice and you're more old school where you want to initiate a battle, whittle down their HP, give them a status ailment and throw an Ultra Ball. If you're looking at those kinds of shiny catches, then by all means, look at our best friend Paris right over here and Parasect as well. So if we take a look at his summary this way, you'll be able to see that this guy has access to a lot of good moves that'll help you out with that. Spore, number one, is going to be the best thing that you can do to make a Pokemon fall asleep in the game. And likewise, if you have access to the Move Tutor a little bit later on in the game, you can go over the Move Tutor and give him False Swipe. So all you old school Pokemon fans, False Swipe until their HP is at one, use Spore to put them asleep, and then throw any Pokeball you want and you got a guaranteed catch right over there. So now that you know the basics of how to catch Pokemon and what to look out for when it comes to shiny hunting, we're gonna show you how the pros are gonna be shiny hunting from here on out. Now, a little bit later on in the game, mass outbreaks will start happening and the guard right off the bat will start telling you about that. So you can see right over this way, over in Alabaster Icelands, there's going to be a ghastly outbreak. This is how you're going to shiny hunt a specific species. Now, there's gonna be species all over with their little icon in the overworld. I've seen Rotom, I've seen uh, Stunky, I've seen Magikarp, you, pretty much any Pokemon, you name it, they'll randomly show up. So what you're gonna wanna do is head on over to that specific area. If you zoom in, you'll be able to see exactly where the ghastly or that specific outbreak is and once you're in that outbreak over there it's gonna be non-stop Pokemon spawns for about like 15 or 14 species and then the outbreak is going to go away so within that time you're going to be able to potentially get a shiny Pokemon there and the game already tells you that there's a boosted chance whenever you do this so here's an outbreak of Stunky in which I saw not too long ago now, when it comes to going onto the field, make sure you know how to crouch and you have all of your jet balls at the ready. Now, jet balls are gonna be perfect for sniping every single one of these. The reason why you wanna go into this outbreak and catch as many as possible is because every time a new one spawns in the batch of like 13 or 15 of them, there is a chance that a shiny one will absolutely pop up. Case in point, right over here. As soon as I caught that one, a shiny just popped up right over there. Now you'll notice that these stunkies are all over the place, they're attacking me, but you gotta focus and you have to make sure that you catch your shiny and get out of there. Luckily, these Pokemon don't flee upon attacking. So boom, right over there, get the stunky, and he's very pink. Likewise, there was an outbreak for Magikarp, and Magikarp is one of my absolute favorite shinies in the game simply because it's gold and it evolves into the very, very famous Red Gyarados. So as soon as I saw that Magikarp show up on the overworld as a mass outbreak, I immediately went over there. And knowing full well that Magikarp is an easy Pokemon to catch, I had a field day. Definitely take a look at this. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about shiny hunting within Pokemon Legends Arceus. I would say your best bet for shiny hunting is to wait until post game in order to have all of the tools at your disposal, the best Pokeballs, the best methods of transportation, and all of the other upgrades. So that being said, let me know. Did you catch any shiny Pokemon with the help of this tutorial? I cannot wait to see them. So tweet at me, at Nation, right over here. Show me all your shiny catches. I've got a lot happening right over here and I'm gonna continuously hunt for even more of them. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, so look forward to it. It's gonna be great. You guys are amazing. Thanks for subscribing for even more Legends Arceus. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.